And we're on. And happy Sabbath, everybody. A happy Sabbath, my online friends. If I haven't told you before, I love you with an everlasting love. I even love you more than the people that are live. <laughs> oh, that are live as opposed to not alive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, so everybody, you did, you did good this week. You have a nice week. You have a nice week. Did you uh, uh, overcome temptations this week? So I know you did. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Good. Wonderful. I did. Every day when you do something, when you make a good choice, you've overcome something. Uh, every day you do that. That's why we get stronger and stronger. Uh, <laughs> this ain't testimony time, boo. Okay. Well, I almost died. That's what I was trying to tell you. Can we do it at the end? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bless her little heart. Once again, I did the best I could for all my children. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guarantee you that if, that if my daughter had almost right. died, everybody would have known right. it. It will do. We'll talk after after it's over. So today. Uh, uh, saints, we're doing Daniel chapter 8. We're moving right along. And, oh, oh people online, let me know if you can hear me, please. I see Latisse. I see Patricia. Let me know if you can hear me, somebody. I, yes, I can hear can you. Hear, I can okay. hear you too. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, okay, did you read your chapter 8? Did you read it? Did you study it? Did you did you look up things that that uh, you didn't understand? Did you research? I guess you yeah, are leaving that up to me. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Daniel chapter eight. The ram, the goat, the little horn and the cleansing of the sanctuary. So before we start this lesson, this is a what, what do we call it. Repeat, Repeat and enlarge. expand or enlarge. So the ram, you already know. What does a ram re represent Thank when you? What does a ram represent? Oh, Medo yes, meet a person. I mean, what does a goat represent? And we already had that in Daniel chapter two, and we had it in Daniel chapter seven. Okay, and we're going to have a review today on Dan Daniel chapter two and seven, so we can get all this embedded in your head, so you'll know this stuff so well that when we get to Daniel eleven, you'll be able to teach this class. The ram, the goat, the little horn. Daniel chapter eight. Got a review. Okay, now I'm going to ask some questions. Take a look at the picture. Try not to blurt out any wrong answers. We're reviewing. So when you see the lion, what kingdom is it? All righty then. And he's coming up out of water. What does that mean? Populated area. Pop, a, a populated area. And he has uh, two wings on his back. What does that mean? Huh? Speed. 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 Oh, I didn't hear. I, okay. Yes. It mean, oh, excuse me. Let us pray. Debbie, you have the mic. Please pray. Father in heaven, thank you for bringing us to another Bible study. We ask that you would open our minds so that we can understand what we are learning so that we can uh, know with clarity what you expect of us and so that we can share it with others. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. 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 Okay. So you said the two wings represent what? And who is the ruler? All righty then. Our next one. This is the next kingdom. And what is it? Medo Persia. What's the king? What is the kingdom? Medo Persia. Medo Persia. And who's the rulers? Darius and Cyrus. Who was the first ruler? Darius. Very good. And what does he have in his mouth? And what does that represent? What does three ribs represent? Yeah, that they that 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 Media Persia conquered Lydia, Egypt, and Babylon. When that when we have multiple uh, um, things like that, go alpha alphabetically, and then we'll all be able to do it on the same time. So alphabetically would be what Babylon, Egypt, and Lydia. Very good. Now the bear is the coming up on his side. What does that mean? So I want, let's, let's pause for a minute. Debbie, you have a mic. There's a mic here. Do we have another mic? 
So when you say your answers, the people with a mic say the answers right in the mic. That way they'll automatically hear what you're saying. I'll give it to Tamika or, yeah, okay. All right. Hello, Carmen, how are you? We love it, uh, you, you know, when everybody's so faithful and they come. Uh, if you come a little late, what if what if we came a little late to the second coming of Christ? Oh, well, you'd be dead. <laughs> it's impossible to do. Love you, Carmen. Yeah, <laughs> I go. Here we go. Here we go. You got this ant, this the kingdom? Yeah. And who was stronger? What kingdom was stronger? The Persia. Persia. Yeah, there, you go. there you go. That's where we left off. And you notice he's coming up out of water too. So what does that mean? Yeah, multitude of people. Yes, population. yes, very good. Now, our third kingdom is what? Greece. Uh huh. And and this is a picture of a what? A leopard. And how many rings? How many heads does it's a leopard four. have? And that's for. Four. All right, and the four heads represent what? Commanders or generals. Are you talking in the mic, Debbie? Where you? What happened to you? Oh. She Oh, okay, okay. The generals who took over when Alexander died. Who remembers how old he was when he died? Thirty-five. Thir not younger. 30. Oh, who said 30. it? I hear. I heard it. Thirty-two. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Do you know how he died? Yes, he was an alcoholic. Yeah, he, he drunk his death. At thirty-two. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, how many wings? Four, Four wings. Super speed. Super Very speed. Very good. Wonderful. Uh, and name the ruler. Alexander the Great. Very good. Very good. Wait, wait. You didn't oh, ask us back. about the, the generals. Oh, oh. Let's go back to the four heads. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alphabetically, tell me the names. Alphabetically. Alphabetically, tell me the names of the generals Cassander. who took over. Okay. Go. Cassander. Cassander. Lysimachus. Next one. Ptolemy. Ptolemy. And then Seleucus. Seleucus. Very good. So I think you got that down pat. That's why you're going to do this extra special review that I've, con that I've concocted for you. Oh, it's going to be just wonderful. Okay. And the fourth kingdom. So we're looking at this. What is it called? A monster. Oh, like a monster. A monster. Oh, you know, yes. Now, what what uh kingdom? Rome. Rome. What would be the ruler? The Pope. The Caesars. Oh, Caesars. Caesars. Yeah. Say Caesars. Caesars, because we gotta say the Pope for some for another, another yeah. little kingdom. So it's in Caesars. They didn't really talk about that, but there's an S on Caesars. Why? Because it, it was more than one. Huh? More yeah, than it's one. just a title. Like yeah. Herod is a title. It is. Uh, uh, I mean Pharaoh. They're all their titles. Okay, that's why you can have as many as I don't know what. Okay, you know. So it's, it's the Caesars that was in control. So now, what are those ten horns on the head? What is that? Kingdoms. Huh? Those are kingdoms. Uh, it has ten horns. What does that Wait. mean? Kingdoms. Western. Wait. Yes, yes, it is kingdoms, but it's something very special about that. It means that Rome was what? Oh, divided. Divided, divided into 10 divided Rome. different Nations. kingdoms. Yeah. Very good. And if you can remember, so. oh, am I going to go there now? No, just no, leave. I won't go there now. Okay, three divided kingdoms of Rome. Okay, now we're going to get into Pixar. Y'all really like Pixar. Yeah, we do. It has helped me. It, it, it has helped all the little J-Max students, helped everybody. What is this called? I want three names of this. Papacy. Three different names. Papacy. Papacy. Little Horn. Catholic Church. Roman Catholic, Catholic Church. Church. Yes. Very good. Oh, mic. I'm, I'm not done mic. with this one. <laughs> um, so... The papacy destroyed or uprooted three kingdoms. You need to name them mm -hmm. alphabetically. I, oh, no. Is Harule? Harule. Vandals. Ostrogoths. And then Vandals. And Vandals. 
All of this you're going to need for your extra credit review. You're going to really need it because you're going to have to think. I was telling Michael, you're going to have to think 3D. 3D, thinking 3D means it's all kind of different ways you're going to have to think to come up with one answer. Now, name the nine points that identify the little horn. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Number one, it came up in the kingdom of Rome. Yes. Number two, it and will have, have a, a man and, and, and who is that man? The, the pope. pope. Number three, it will think, think to change times, times and laws. What did it change? One the Sabbath. Well, Sabbath. The Sabbath. Just Sunday. What else? Uh, the Ten Commandments. What else? Ten Commandments, Sabbath, idol worship, yeah, pre, 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 uh, priest forgiving sin, oh, yeah. eternal so, burning hell, yeah. you know. Huh? Yeah. Yes, yes. You go to heaven when you die. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Number uh, four. Four. It will come up among. It will come up among. Yes. Oh, ten horns. Ten horns. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Number five. It would persecute the saints. Twelve hundred and sixty years. Per, yes, it would persecute the, the saints for one thousand two hundred oh, years. Six. Number six. It would persecute, persecute the saints, saints for a time, 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 dividing, dividing time. time. What is time? How many years? How many years? Three hundred sixty. What is times? What a s. 720. 720. Oh, what is dividing of time? 180. 180. You add it up, what do you get? 1260. Very good. It's the same as 42 months mm -hmm. when you see that in prophecy. 42 months, time, times, and dividing of time. Three years, all the same. 1,260 years. Number seven, it will speak blasphemy against God. What is blasphemy? Um, like you're trying to be yes. God, yeah. Think, thinking, claiming to be God. Yes, uh, thinking you're God or to, or like him. Uh, number eight, it would? Uproot three kingdoms. Uproot three kingdoms. Again, who, what are those kingdoms that were uh -huh. uprooted? Kirulai, Ostagos, Vandal. Very good. And then number nine, it would be? Divided. Different. Oh, from different. From other kingdoms. That man with the, with right. the okay. big mouth, with a man at his head, which is the Pope. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. And now the ram, the goat, the little horn, and the cleansing of the sanctuary. Let me let me uh, just say again, when the Bible talks about, uh, when we study the Bible, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. Line upon line is the scripture will interpret itself. You know, uh, Daniel 7 does that very well. It'll say a beast, and later on it'll say, Daniel will explain what it meant. That's line upon line. All chapters don't do that. Some of the chapters, like Daniel 11, is mostly Bible history. It, and so you have to go here a little, there a little. Okay, so don't, uh, and I know you don't do this because you're so smart and because you love the Lord and because you're already a saint. So you, you studied God's word and you pray first and you ask for the Holy Spirit to give you understanding. And the first time you come up with something and you don't know what, what it means, don't go any further. Find out what it means first and then proceed. OK, because you're not in a rush, right? Mm -hmm. The only thing that we're in a hurry for is what? Huh? What are you in a hurry for? Yeah. 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 But it's up to us how fast he gets here. He knows when he's coming. Here we go. The symbols in Daniel's chapter seven were kingdoms, the Bible quotes, that we're viewing. Uh, I mean, this is Daniel eight. Now Daniel eight introduces two other symbols, a ram and a goat. You're going to find that those are going to be the same two symbols as what? In Daniel seven, Daniel eight, the ram and the goat is the same two symbols as what? Yes, very good. In chapter eight, God uses sanctuary animals, not wild animals like chapter seven. The ram and the goat draws our attention to the sanctuary in heaven. See, there's a reason why he does everything. So that so he's drawing our attention to the heavenly sanctuary because those are not 
wild animals that he used. That was interesting. And the third year, King Belshazzar came this vision of Daniel 8, representing Medo-Persia and Greece and how they reached their fate. Daniel was away on business for the king, standing by the Ulai River. And then God gave a vision he would never forget. It's made his heart tremble and quiver. He saw a ram standing beside the river. It had two horns that were large and vast. One was obviously higher than the other, and the higher one came up last, which was what? Oh, per Persia. Just Persia. They came up last. So as you can see how it's just repeating, it has to do that. The ram charged west, then north, then south. Nothing withstood its power or rule. The ram did just as it pleased and grew to be very strong and cruel. This ram with two horns is Medo-Persia. And the horn that was higher, we'll discover, is the kingdom of Persia. It came up last. Its horn was stronger than the other. All three of these symbols in prophecy uses God's principles of repeat and demand and expand. Therefore, all three of these symbols from Daniel 2, 7, and 8 represent the Medo-Persia kingdom and land. All three talk about the same thing. As Daniel was thinking about what he was seeing, a male goat came pushing westbound. He was charging from the west so fast that his feet didn't touch the ground. Who was that? Three. Three. Yes. It had a huge horn sticking out between his eyes. It was headed straight for the ram. The closer he got, the more furious he became, hitting the ram head on with a bam. The ram's horns were shattered. The goat knocked him down. No one could rescue the ram from the goat. And then the goat grew stronger. And at the height of its power, its huge horn fell off and it broke. What did huge horn falling off mean? <laughs> that he died. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. In its place, four other horns came up from the north, south, east, and west. I'm sure you know by now, the goat represents Greece, so you no longer have to guess. Do you see how he goes over the same thing over and over and over? The huge horn between the goat's eyes is Alexander the Great, we found. He captured Medo Persia with blinding speed, and that's why his feet didn't touch the ground. He's going to uh, come up again during the second death, thinking he's still... Capturing, uh, uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. At the height of its power, the huge horn was broken, meaning at 32, Alexander died. The four horns were four generals that took over, and through them, the kingdom divides. So right away, do anybody know po Ptolemy, which kingdom, which uh, area he went to? Ptolemy or, or Seleucus? Oh, you will later. We'll talk about it later. Okay. These are the four generals who took over Alexander's kingdom after 301 BC. Cassander, Seleucus, Lysimachus, and the P. is silent, Ptolemy. And out of one of the four winds of heavens came another power called the Little Horn. It grew and waxed exceeding great. Its appearance changed after it was born. We learned about this Little Horn, which is the papacy. In, in Daniel chapter 7, how it persecuted God's people, trampled on God's laws, and challenged the power of heaven. While still in vision, Daniel heard Gabriel ask a question of Jesus Christ. He said, how long will the little horn cast down the truth about Jesus' sacrifice? When he asked how long, what, did, what was the answer? 1260. What was the answer? What was the answer? Time. <laughs> that's the that's the answer. Go back, go back okay, let me go back. He asked, "How long will the little horn cast down the truth about Jesus' sacrifice? Oh. How uh, how long will this little horn prosper? How long will God's truth be destroyed by men?" The answer came: "Unto two thousand three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed." Remember the one thousand. 260 days was basically the papal persecution. This, right, okay? This is talking about how long this little horn papacy thing, which is going on now, 
will last 2,300 years. Oh, did I do this? Mm. Daniel couldn't understand the vision. He wanted to know what does this mean? Jesus said to Gabriel, help Daniel understand the things that he has seen. Gabriel came to where Daniel was standing. Daniel fell on his face. He couldn't comprehend. Gabriel said, I know you don't understand everything, but this vision applies to the time of the end. And we need to make sure that we're not thinking we need to understand everything immediately when we read it. It takes time. Mm -hmm. I started reading about this stuff in, in 1971. And, and it still baffles me on some things. Gabriel explained to Daniel about the ram and the goat being in the kingdom of Medo-Persia and Greece. This part Daniel understood, but the 2,300 years gave him no peace. In fact, he didn't have nothing to do with the three. He's, he's going to be dead soon. So Gabriel said, you don't be worrying yourself about trying to understand what's going to happen down the road when you're dead. You know, so so uh, know what you need to know in your time. But he wrote it down for us. Gabriel talked to Daniel about the little horn and how long it will trample on God's word. Gabriel mentioned again about the 2,300 days and Daniel couldn't believe what he heard. Gabriel said, don't worry about this part of the vision. It applies to the end of time. But Daniel fainted and fell sick because the 2,300 years confused his mind. You see, the Jews' 70 years in Babylon was almost up, and this last vision brought new fears. Daniel thought that because of Israel's sin, they would be given an additional 2,000 years. That's why he fainted, because he knew he, he, they were only supposed to be in Babylon for 70 years. And then they're asking how long this vision 2,300 years of he thought because of Israel's unrepentance that they were going to remain in there for 2,300 years. So he got sick. Daniel was overcome by what he had seen and he was still sick and amazed. Gabriel only gave Daniel partial understanding regarding the 2,300 days. This 2,300 year prophecy will be explained as we study chapter nine. This 2,300 prophecy takes us to the judgment and it's the longest Bible timeline. You will, we will, we'll be studying that chart next week and I'm gonna give you a little heads up. You're gonna have to write this chart mm -hmm. for your extra credit. You're gonna have to write it and we'll go over it. Yeah, huh? that's a good one. How it has everything. You say what? Email us that chart. Oh, uh, I, you know, I, I just went on Google it, and and there's a whole bunch of different charts. When you go on, when you Google this chart, the two the two thousand three hundred day chart, you have to make sure that they don't have a bunch of stuff in there that is not true. I had to search and search for the right one, and sometimes I had to crop some out. This is this one is is uh, you know. This one is pretty, pretty, this one is accurate, actually. Okay. So when we study this next week, you will have to not just write it, but explain it as you write it. And I'm going to get, I'm going to have four people up at once, two over here, two over here. And if you cheat and look on somebody else's thing, you're automatically disqualified. I'm a believer in disqualification. If you don't use the gifts that the Lord has given you, you're disqualified. <laughs> so, okay. So then that, uh, uh, next week in chapter nine, just know in your study, you're going to be able to un have to understand this chart. For if you don't understand this chart, how are you going to explain when the judgment began? How are you going to explain what happened to Jesus and where he moved to if you don't understand this chart? Okay? So, briefly. <laughs> I just want to see where we are. Where we, I want to see where we are. Just to see how, how y'all going to be, you know, prepared. Because we went over this stuff. Now, the Jews are in Babylon for how many years? 70. Huh? 70. 70. Okay. And what was the what was the a start of that timeline when they left? You remember it? Aha. Uh -huh. So we're going to have fun next week when y'all study this. Because clearly you ain't ready today. Okay. How you doing, Jackie? Shirley, how are you? No. So you ready for your quiz? What? What? Or they left, or they uh, when, when, when for they, the decree to sign for them to leave, 457 BC. 
to build the temple. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, to, to repair the walls. That's what yeah. when they were they 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 were only Babylon for 70 years. And so when that 70 years was up, Cyrus signed a decree for them to, to leave the Jews and go back to build the walls in Babylon, 457 in BC. Jerusalem. Uh, in Jerusalem. That's what happened. You said Jerusalem. Oh, was I saying yeah, Babylon? Yeah. Good for you. That was a test. Just to make, just to make sure y'all knew. Uh, you know, you, you know, I, I was saying that's what I meant. But you know, but you know what I meant. I expect saints of the most high to read my mind. Okay. <laughs> So when you see me making an error like that, just say it. You know, you know, you can look confused and just let me know. But you do need to know how to read people's mind. <laughs> Are you ready for your quiz? Yes. Oh, you need a mic. Uh, yes, I deserve these. Yeah. No, I deserve these. Yeah. But 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 you remember now in Daniel eight, Cyrus didn't want to let the people go. So that so you know that's that's what this lesson was just about. That uh, that you uh, came in and and basically missed the whole lesson. But oh, you know what? I'm so sorry that that we don't have a doorbell. Uh, I do expect y'all to find a way to get in the best way that you can. All right, here we go. Here's a quiz. Are you ready? Daniel eight introduces what two symbols? A ram and a goat, and you all, and once again, the ram represents uh, Medo Persia, and the goat represents Greece. All right, here we go. What kingdoms did the ram and the goat represent? Okay. Did you just say it? Okay, Medo Persia, Medo Persia, and Greece. Very good. What kingdom did the ram represent? Medo Persia. Okay, we're going quickly with this. What kingdom did the goat represent? Okay, wonderful. So when you say A, always remember people are online, can't hear you because you don't have a mic. They, they do want to hear you. You do have a mic, so. I'm talking into the <laughs> okay. mic. I'm sorry, okay. people. All right, very good. She has a good point. If you're not confident, you might not want to say nothing. Here we go. One of the ram's horns was higher than the other. What does this mean? B. Persia. What is it? B and C. B and C. B and C. Persia came up last, and it was the stronger kingdom. Wonderful. The goat had a huge horn between its eyes. What does this mean? B. Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great. As, as the goat grew stronger, its huge horn fell and broke. What does that mean? He died <laughs> at 32. Alexander died at the early age of 32. Yes, he did. Four other horns took the huge horn's place. What does that mean? Four generals. C. C, Alexander's four generals took over. Name the four generals who took over. Oh, it's A. C. I, I need you to be able to spell oh, it correctly. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's C. <laughs> what is it? C. I'm hearing a C born once. C. Say, say it with me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Cassander, Ptolemy, Seleucus, Lysimachus. It looks like chus, but it is pronounced cuss. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go. Why isn't A right? I can't see what's because, wrong with A. Because Seleucus is misspelled. Right. Seleucus, yeah. Seleucus. Seleucus is misspelled. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Is... Yes, yes. So, uh, so that, that was misspelled. We need to also be good spellers in here, too. Got it? Because once again, once again, you know, it's half and half. We have men in here, and we all know that women are better spellers. So the spelling is for the men. Okay. Here we go. When God uses different symbols with different meanings, what is it called? B. What is it? Repeat and expand. He does that. It, says, it settles the information in our head, and it helps us to think. What was the next vision Daniel saw that confused him? Oh, that 200, and, I mean, 2,300. What, what is it? B. All of them. Oh. All of these are the all that. Yes. Is the the paper and the little three hundred dollars days of the little horn. All of that. All three. Was it within the twenty three hundred days? So that's why I made it seem just one. I don't understand. What the answer? What was the next vision? Your question said, "What was the next vision?" 
Oh, now, I see. If it was more than one, you should have had an F. But it was going to be yeah, all of those. No, but they're but they're not three visions. They're all part yes. of okay, one right. vision. Right. But, oh, okay. And, 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 and you know what? Thank you. Okay. And I was going to, Jody, Jody, my, my beloved middle child, I was going to send you to Jackie Blake since you're talking like that, that she, she's the best teacher on earth. Thank I was going to send you over to her. I could. <laughs> Here we go. All three. Now, when asked, how long will God's truth continue to be cast to the ground? What was the answer? Yep, see. Huh? How, how, how long will God's truth continue to be cast? That's what the paper sheet does, you know, casting the truth okay. to the ground, trampling on God's laws, that kind of stuff. Until 2,300 days. That was see, what... I, I thought it was 1260 days because that's when the persecution, everything happened and that papal Rome wasn't. After the persecution, which was 1,260 years right. of papal persecution. Right. Okay. Remember the Pope? You remember they thought that the papacy had died. died. The mm -hmm. Pope died. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? The, then it came back. back alive. It revived all the way to what we're talking about now. You got to remember. So all it's till the end yes. of the 2300 yes. days. From. Yes. Okay. Yes. Not for the duration right. of the. Correct. Okay. After 1798. Remember okay. it said the, the uh, deadly wound was healed. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Catholic church. The papacy whatever, got stronger than ever. They're stronger than ever today. Mm -hmm. So it takes us all the way through. That's what Daniel. Yes. That's why it was past the 1260 days. What the? Hmm? Of what? You said Okay, so you're 23, 2,300 days ends when, saints? 1840. Ends when, saints? 1844. Okay, mm -hmm. and 1844 is called the beginning of the really? time of the yeah. end, not just the time of the end. It starts the beginning, takes you all the way through yeah, to, to the second Jesus coming of Christ. Ended in 1844. And what happened in 1844, saints? Yeah. Jesus went to the most holy place. Very good. And, and, what's, and what did he start doing, saints? Judging the dead right. wicked. I mean, the okay. dead. Okay, and so what is the name of that judgment? He Investigative. Or pre-advent. Or pre-advent. Okay, very good. Now, we, we you got it? We're on the same page? Mm -hmm. Let's move on. What does then shall the sanctuary be cleansed mean? Ah, every time you do that, then the answer is the next. <laughs> what does it mean? Yeah, uh, B and C. B and C. B and C. Because it says it soon to begin. Judgment began what year? 1844. 1844. So we're so we're in. He's judging now. The investigative judgment began in 1844, or the pre-advent judgment began in 1844. What did Daniel think this meant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that the Jews will be in Babylon for 2,300 mm -hmm. years instead of 70. Because he was reading Isaiah's and, and Jeremiah's stuff, and it says, you, you know, the time is almost here. It's basically upon us. You should be getting ready to be released. And then he gets this vision. Gabriel explained to Daniel that this vision was for the time of the end. When is the time of the end? Hey. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Beginning of 1844. Or you can go 1798 to 1844 on out. Some, some people look at it like that. The mm -hmm. easiest way is it, the beginning of 1844, because it's going to take us all the way to the second coming of Christ. He's thinking about the judgment. Who's going to be judged first while it's on my mind? The Christian yeah. dead. And who's the house of Israel? Christians. The yes. Christians. Christians, are they dead or alive? Dead. Christians who are dead. Who's, who's going to be judged second? The Christian living. The Christians who are wow. alive. Us today, yeah. Well, that, say that. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Me, I just we just don't know when he's gonna come to it, mm -hmm. and this is why we have to live as if he's coming to your name every single day. Mm -hmm. So what makes you think that it's gonna take a long time to do? Oh, I don't. I don't know. He didn't tell us. Mm -hmm. So we have no. We don't know. He didn't tell us. He's those kind of things. The Lord will not tell us mm -hmm. those things because we don't know what to do with the information. Yeah. Instead of being like Daniel and falling sick and the Lord got to send an angel. Oh, no, no, no. We try to prepare for it. 
you know, and, and we, well, if, if he told us when he was coming, what would we do? If he That's told us the date yeah. of 18, if, if, if it was anywhere right. where it said Jesus is coming in 1844, 1844 before midnight is when people start praying, getting themselves together. Mm -hmm. So he said, I'm not going to tell them that. So you pray and get yourself together every single day. You do know it states in the spirit of prophecy that about 200 years ago, he was getting ready to come. Remember the text when it talks about the, he stopped the angel and said, hold, hold, hold. The people are not ready. We would have been still dead. So it wouldn't have affected us. Would have been a lot. That's what I meant. We would never, we would never would have been born. Yeah. We never would have been born. Yeah. The worst thing about about uh, uh, all of this stuff, health, fire, anything, is just missing heaven. Mm -hmm. Nothing is worse than missing heaven. Nothing, not death, nothing. What two texts gives us the examples of the day, year prophecy? So if you can explain to people that a year is it it equals a day, a day equals a year. Name the two texts. B. B. Is it what is it? B. It is B. Is she cheating from you, Kathy? Jackie, I saw you look. I saw you look on her paper. <laughs> okay, Numbers fourteen thirty four. Now, saints, listen, listen up, saints of the Most High. When you, when they when they everybody when they preach and they say the day year principle text we always go to Ezekiel four six and we go to Numbers fourteen thirty four I have not have heard no one yet explain those two texts why we use those is there anybody here why would what what does it say in Ezekiel four six without looking it up <laughs> huh. So, so what? Okay, what, what, what we're trying to do? What we're trying to get you to see? Stop quoting text that you don't know what it says. When you, when you, when someone says that, yeah, the day year principle is 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 two examples: one in Ezekiel, one in Numbers, and then you leave it like that. No, you need to go and read it, study it, and find out what it says and why God used that as an example of the day year principle. In Ezekiel 4, 6, he was, the Lord said, told Ezekiel to do some object lessons, you know, to show, to warn uh, 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 Israel. So he, all kind of object lessons. And he told him, lie on your left side for 390 days. And that's going to show how that Israel is on probation for 390 days or year. Say, I have appointed to thee each day for a year. Then he says, now lie on your right side. And, and for 40 days, and that's the sins of Judah. That's their probation. Sins of Judah, 40 years after. All of that went. I know it did, and that's why I'm getting ready to stop. The point what I'm saying is, don't read, read what it says. We know in Numbers when they was wandering in the wilderness and the spies went out and they came back with an evil report. Didn't want to go in and do what the Lord told them to do to, to uh, you know, to kill everybody or whatever, to take over Canaan. They wouldn't do it. And so, and they were, it was a whole bunch of stuff. They was getting ready to stone Moses. It was a lot of stuff that's, that's go going on with that. He said, all right, so now this is why you're going to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Mm -hmm. Which, how long did it really take them to get there? 10 days. I mean, that it would have okay. taken them 10. They were walking on foot. We can't even walk me 10 hours hmm. without having to sit down and, and rest. Maybe take a little nap, eat some food. It would have taken them 10 days. It took them 40 years. Basically, all I'm saying is when you give someone a text of anything, make sure you have read it and you understand it so that you can explain the text. So you can be like Kathy Boyle when she does the scripture. Yeah. She does research so you understand the context. The context and what's behind scripture. it. Uh, I remember we talked about the here little, there little, precept upon precept, line upon line, that kind of stuff. This says you're awesome. Now, you're going to do, and I'm, let me explain your extra credit. It's just basically from Daniel 2 and Daniel 7. So you can understand how that repeat and expand thing works better because the more you get it and you got this, you got those four kingdoms, right? You do have it because you had it last week and you have it. You also got to remember that Daniel 2 is talking about the exact same thing, but Daniel 2, it was what? A statue. A statue. Oh. Animals is Daniel 7. Now, 
This is this is what I'm going to do. Are you ready for your extra credit? So I, I just need to see how y'all doing. So um, this is what I did for my students, for the children, JMAC children, ages five to 15. No, really. And I did this because we went over Daniel 2 and Daniel 7 so much. They were able to do this exercise. Debbie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you to help. I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do. Debbie, if you can come up front with me so that if she gets anything wrong, you'll know it's her right, and not I'm me. I'm going to say it. Okay. Me. All right, so starting from Daniel 2. So when I said you had to think in 3D, when, I, when, when we do this exercise, you got to think Daniel 2. You got to think what it means. You got to think Daniel 7. Anyway, we're going to show you what we're talking about. We're only going to do a few. Yeah, Are good, you ready? Good, okay. Okay, so remember we're starting with Daniel 2. When I say head, you say metal. Head. Gold. Head. Gold. When I say gold, you say kingdom. Gold. Babylon. Gold. Babylon. Do you see what she's doing? Okay, let's do one more. When I say Babylon, you say ruler. Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar. Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar. When I say Nebuchadnezzar, you say beast. Nebuchadnezzar. Lion. Nebuchadnezzar. Lion. You got it? You, you got it? Oh, I, I, I think it was like different. No, it was like this. The, so you listen to my last question. When I like when I say head, you say metal. Think metal. So what was the head made out of? Oh. That's how you have to think. When I say gold, you say kingdom. Think kingdom. So you say, oh, the kingdom Bab was Babylon. Yeah, that's how you have to think. That kind of thinking, there's I'm sure there's a way uh, 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 a name for it. I'm sure Jackie knows. Uh <laughs> Once again, she's she's the best, she's the best teacher on earth, and so uh, it helps you to think and it drills it more because you just can't. You have to know it. You got it. Well, huh? What older version? They're saying that they want. I know. I don't want the oh, you. Oh, you. Don't, oh, I see. You don't want the version where the young you kids' minds are sharp and strong, right? Yeah. You want to wait until our minds grow down. Yeah, never get this. No, you can do it. Do you, but you understand what we did? Yes. Now I'm going to go slow. I'm going to do the same one. This is this is just the beginning of the first beast. How many is it? Four. So so you, this is this is very simple. Are you ready? Yes. With confidence. Just go slow. When I say head, you say metal. Head. Gold. Head. Gold. gold. When I say gold, you say kingdom. Gold. Babylon. Babylon. Gold. Babylon. Babylon. When I say Babylon, you say ruler. Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar. Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar. When I say Nebuchadnezzar, you say beast. Nebuchadnezzar. Lion. Nebuchadnezzar. Lion. When I say lion, you say two. Lion. Wings. Lion. Wings. When I say wings, you say meaning. Wings. Speed. Speed. Yes. Speed. Oh my, you're wonderful. You're you wonderful. Got you got it? Yeah. You are. I know. I you're know. wonderful. Like you're amazing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Now that was just the first beat. The first beat. So now we're getting ready to go to the second one. Okay. Now remember, we're starting. We're starting from Dan. Huh? Speed. I said when I say wings, you say meaning. That means what does speed mean? I mean, what does wings mean? Speed. Okay. Oh, you're wonderful. You're wonderful. Uh, there was a person that was saying y'all couldn't do this. That, yeah. They said the per They said they say. No, they said there was, it was impossible for you to do, but we ain't got to worry about him because he has a short time. Actually, actually, it was me. Oh. He has a short time. Oh, well, see, because no, because he was going to help you not to do it because he has a short time. Who is that? Who is the person that has a short time? Yeah, oh, yeah. Your mind is getting dim. Let's stay away from that. Let's just stay. All right, we're on the second kingdom. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, you did excellent. Kingdom. <laughs> okay, excuse me for my facial expressions. I don't do well with that. All right, are you ready? Yes. As you're going to see, it's going to get harder and harder, but you can do this. Here we go. We're talking about the second. There's four empires. We're talking mm -hmm. about the second. 
When I now we started from Daniel two. Okay. When I say chest and arms, you say metal. Mm. Chest and arms. Silver. silver. Chest and arms. Silver. silver. When I say silver, you say kingdom. Silver. Middle Persia. Persia. Silver. Middle Persia. When I say Middle Persia, you say rulers. Middle Persia. Darius Cyrus. Cyrus. Middle Persia. Darius yeah. Cyrus. When I say Darius and Cyrus, you say beast. Darius and Cyrus. Bear. Bear. Darius and Cyrus. Bear. Bear. When I say Darius and Silas, you say stronger. Darius and Cy Cyrus. Persia. Yes. Darius, Darius Persia. and Cyrus. Yes. I say when I Cyrus, say you bear, stronger. you say three. Oh. Bear. Ribs. Yeah. Or what? Ribs. 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 Oh, That's ribs. What the three yeah. mean. He had three ribs, ribs. in his mouth. Okay. Now, when I say ribs, you say meaning. Ribs. Lit Can Egypt, Lydia, and yeah. oh, yeah. and That's, Babylon. Yes, right. yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I said yes. meaning. What does it mean that he has the three ribs in his mouth? It means that he conquered three Lydia, three. Egypt, and Babylon. But she's looking for the king. You got it? It does, but you because because that's how it's written. <laughs> I mean, you got to say the net. What good is it if you don't know the, what the three is? Well, all I'm saying is that's I, I the law. Like I love the way he's doing it, but that's not in the Bible. It don't tell you who it is. You put that in there, which is what we need to do. I know. didn't put anything in there. All I did was read here a little, there a little, precept, precept upon precept. No, no, oh, but it's no. in chapter seven. It talks about the three ribs, the name, right? No. And so, right, she said, it doesn't tell you the name. So, what does God want us to do when we don't Study. know the name? Deeper, Find it. It is not hidden. Look it up. I, I, what did I tell you? Did, did I say a, the exhaustive, Ellen G. White's exhaustive study on Daniel and Revelation? Because you know you have to really study your stuff. Oh yeah. Well, well, it's there because we can get it the way she got. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's just that we we just have to, like you said, dig, 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 dig treasure, deeper. and just and just study it because it's right there. It's right there. You did that was excellent. Okay, you want the next one? Okay, are you ready? Who said that? Was that Sarah? We, okay, we're only going to do, because we're over time, we're only going to go to three. We'll finish it the next next week. We're going to do one more, which is going to be the third kingdom. So when I'm saying that, right away, you need to be thinking third yeah. kingdom, third kingdom, ruler, Free kingdom. Run. You're supposed to be thinking that while I talk. Are you ready? Yep. Uh, okay, okay. This is the third empire, the third kingdom. Here we go. Peace. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but it's a good answer. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna, this is the last one. Oh. I, I can take you. Where are you Yeah, going? Debbie, take you. Okay, okay. Here we go. All right. Third one and the last one for today. When I say belly and thighs, you say metal, belly and thighs. Bronze. Or brass, belly and thighs. When I say brass, you say kingdom. Brass. Greece. Greece. Yeah. Brass. Greece. Greece. When I say Greece, you say ruler. Greece. Alexander. Alexander. Yeah, Greece. Alexander. Yeah. When I say Alexander, you say beast. Alexander. Leopard. leopard. Alexander. Leopard. leopard. When I say leopard, you say heads. Heads. Four general. Four. Four. Heads. Okay, four. When I say four heads, okay. you say okay. meaning. Four okay. heads. Four general. Four generals. I want names. Cassander. Lysimachus. Oh. Let's, let's Cassander. Lysimachus. Yes. Yeah. And remember. I mean, Ptolemy. Yeah. And, and, Rem and Seleucus. Yeah. Cassander, Seleucus, Ptolemy, and Lysimachus. Remember, do everything alphabetically, Alpha. and everybody Sander, will say it at Lysimachus, the same time. Ptolemy, Seleucus. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. This is the last one for this kingdom. Okay, when I last one, when I say four wings, you say meaning wings. Super, Super speed. Wings. 
super very sweet. good. And I, I think I'm, I'm, you, you did wonderful. Yeah. That helps you. No, that says that you really understand yeah. it. That's mm -hmm. what that says. That's why we did that. Next week, we'll finish it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? Because when we do the uh, roam, it gets a little longer. When we do the little horn, it gets a little longer, yeah. okay? Yeah. But you've done three, and if you can do three, you can do them all. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with having like a small group so we can practice spelling. <laughs> you know, once again, I did the best I could <laughs> with, ra with, with, with raising the middle child, okay? Okay, uh, now, um, what will you take from this lesson? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Michael? Sure. Um, so, I, the 1,200, no, 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 I got to think about this for a second. Um, something ended in 1844, and that was the- 2,300 so, years. 2,300 yes. years. Yes. Yes. Okay. The papal yeah, persecution right. ended in 1798, and it began when? Uh, 538. 538. 538. 538, yes. 538 AD. Okay? That's what I was Why are you shaking your head, Mika? Question that you asked or the answer that was up there. He asked at the ending of the... Oh, okay. Okay. That's okay. You'll get there. We're not we're not in heaven yet either, but we'll get there. <laughs> huh? Michael. Michael. So were you finished with your comment? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. We're just just in that in that uh, Jackie. My first time here. I want to thank my sister Shirley from the Sharon. Okay. For inviting me. Yeah. Beautiful. Talk about excellent teaching. You love excellent. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> so what I take from this is Online Thank you. What I take from this sister master teacher. Okay. <laughs> in the image of the capital M T <laughs> master teacher. Okay. What I take from this is how, what I'm amazed at is how precise God is yes. in sharing his prophetic timetable. Yes. Yes. He didn't have to tell us this. And I was amazed years ago when I learned that Alexander the Great, mm -hmm. he is, um, um, he's in prophecy. He's <laughs> predicted. That was amazing. Amazing. To me. Yes. So God is so precise. That's what I take from him, how precise he is yes. in sharing his prophecy with us. He didn't have to do that. That's right. Such and he could and he could have just, just talked to us like Tamika wants him to talk to her, you know, just tell, just tell her everything so we don't have to look nothing up. What fun is that? Oh. He wants us to look stuff up. I want to say something. Yo, yes. I, I, I think that God is very creative in how he teaches us. Oh, yeah. And just how he taught people back then right through um what did he use parables prophets all kinds of yes stuff. Uh -huh. he does the same with yep, us he as does. well he does and he just wants us to not get bored with his right his right. uh learning but he teaches us to to just grasp it and be creative just how you're a creative teacher oh god, god is a creative okay. teacher too okay <laughs> and i appreciate that well thank you thank you anyone okay oh okay are you saying something? I have a question to ask if that's okay. I didn't hear. I have a question. Okay. What kind of fruit was it in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? What did he say? What kind of it doesn't pertain to the lesson. Oh, so we'll deal with that later. Yeah. Stick with the lesson. We, your mind is all sharp and all smoothed out. We don't want it to get all rusted and crumble. Get our focus. We'll talk about it later. All right. Wonderful. Oh, someone saying something? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've heard it before. He knows I'm not going to answer it. Love you with an everlasting love. Okay. Uh, three keys. I, God believes in repetition. He search the truth like you're searching for hidden treasure. I bet you if, if, if I hid $1,000 in your bedroom, you'd be looking yeah. for it. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Till you find it. Uh, number three. And then number three, another three thing, we don't understand everything all at once. He, 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 like, like Daniel, so we have to just keep studying. Ah, she yes. hates that. She yes. hates that. When she don't feel like answering something, you understand it by <laughs> <laughs> So next week, saints, 
Next week, put your thinking caps on. You will be able, you need to know, and you will be able to explain this chart. You'll be able to understand it, which will take us from 457 BC to what? To 1844 and all the little things is between. It's going to be so simple, okay? And you're going to be great. Well, that's because you don't stop. See, when you do, when you learn something, the Bible, when you study, you don't stop because then then it goes away. It gets foggy. So when the Lord says he'll bring things back to our remembrance, this is for the person that continues to study, not who stopped and read it one time and, no, and want to live on fumes. We don't live on fumes, okay? Yeah. I mean, that don't look the same. Okay, saints of the Most High. Yeah. The reason why the chart looks different is because I cropped it. It was supposed to be over the whole screen. It's the same chart. It's the same one that I've done for, for since I don't know when. It's the same chart. Anyway, you'll know how to do it, and you'll be able to explain it. All right? There you go. And thank you. Let, let's who's gonna who's gonna pray us out? What grade did oh, we get? Okay. I'm gonna give you uh, seriously. You guys got an A plus, and you've never gotten an A plus before. And the 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 my best teacher in the world knows there's no such thing as an A plus. You <laughs> the best is the best. Ain't no best third than the best. You know, so so you but you guys overextended yourself. You did wonderful and you deserve an A plus. We'll see if you can maintain it next week for the chart. You got it? Our study class, y'all. We need to get a study class before with that. Okay. okay. Uh, Jody, can you pray us out? Oh yes, please bow your heads oh, and close okay. your eyes. Can you can you kind of sit up straight? I mean. Yeah, yeah, sit up straight. And see, see how Jackie's doing? Got it? home at 1 a.m. I'm okay. tired. And I'll do what Jackie's doing, sweetie. When we pray, saints of the most high, for instance, if you're real tired and you're in your bed and you're sleeping and you say, oh, I forgot to pray. Don't just lay there. Get up. I dropped off Put kids at 1 a.m. Okay. in the morning. Go ahead, Joe. Pray us Dear out. Lord, um, bow your heads and close your eyes, please. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the um, training and the Daniel revelation that we're getting, the um, please help that we will continue to study, to learn all about your prophecy to, so that we can tell others and just be ready when you come. Thank you so much for everything. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.